Consider the function f of x whose second derivative is f double prime of x equals three x plus five sine x. If f of zero equals three, and f prime of zero equals three, determine f of two. In this problem we're given the second derivative, and we can recover the first derivative by determining the antiderivative, or indefinite integral, of the second derivative. Meaning f prime of x, is equal to the indefinite integral of f double prime of x dx, which in this case would give us the integral of three x plus five sine x dx. Integrating three x, we have three times x squared divided by two, or three halves x squared, and then plus the integral of five sine x equals negative five cosine x, giving us minus five cosine x. Then of course plus c, a constant of integration. But we can actually determine the particular function f prime of x because we're given f prime of zero equals three. So if f prime of zero equals three, if we substitute zero for x into f prime of x, the function value must be three, which gives us the equation three halves times the square root of zero minus five cosine zero plus c must equal three. And now we solve for c. Cosine zero is equal to one, giving us negative five plus c equals three, and therefore c is equal to positive eight. So now we know f prime of x equals three halves x squared minus five cosine x plus eight. And now that we have the first derivative, we can recover the original function f of x by determining the antiderivative or indefinite integral of the first derivative. We can say that f of x equals the indefinite integral of f prime of x dx which in our case is the integral of three halves x squared minus five cosine x plus eight dx. Integrating we have three halves times x cubed divided by three minus five sine x plus eight x plus c. And this we can simplify here, three divided by three simplifies to one, giving us one half x cubed. And now we can find the value of c because we know f of zero equals three. So if f of zero equals three, we have the equation one half times the cube of zero minus five sine zero plus eight times zero plus c must equal three. Well in this case we have zero minus zero plus zero plus c equals three, where c equals three. So now we know f of x equals one half x cubed minus five sine x plus eight x plus three. And now we can finally determine f of two. f of two equals one half times the cube of two minus five sine two plus eight times two plus three. Simplifying, two cubed is eight, one half times eight is four. We have four plus 16 plus three, that's 23 minus five sine two for the exact function value or using a calculator in radian mode we have approximately 18.4535. So again, f of two is exactly 23 minus five sine two, which is approximately 18.4535. I hope you found this helpful.